formulating happiness. So happiness is essentially what we can refer to as knowledge. Because truthfully speaking, happiness is knowledge. And why would happiness be knowledge? <laughs> because without knowledge, we can't be happy. The reason why is that within this reality which we're living in, within this speed of sound, happiness is taken away from people who don't have knowledge. It's almost like putting all your eggs out in front of a people who are hungry and then just trying to have trust in those people that they won't take your eggs because it's they're your eggs. When you come outside, they'll all be gone. Oh, people are hungry. People are instinctively in a state of distraction, distortion, you know, frustration. People in this reality, people in this speed of sound don't understand and are definitely not trained um, or programmed to listen to their, to their goodwill, to listen. Many of us are, don't get me wrong. Many of us are very deep and grounded within moral compass. But at the same time, many of us are essentially just running on, on chaos. And that's why within this speed of sound, I'm not saying every, every state of, you know, um, just within this speed of sound, without knowledge, we can't truthfully be content within happiness because just like the egg if we go out into the reality just with all this happiness there's no way that we could learn to c contain it because knowledge teaches us wisdom and wisdom teaches us um sustainability <laughs> wisdom teaches us you know sustainability Sustainability is, is how we ultimately hang on and, and form contentment. And contentment is what will ultimately lead us to a sustained um, state of elevation or a frequency of sound which can't be contaminated. Because ultimately what happiness is, is happiness is a speed of sound which we feel elevated high enough from the... the um, the treachery of this reality and when we're elevating at that speed of sound we, we can't be affected we can't be affected by all the the shite all the hard and heartache and all the pain suffering and and we just can't be affected people try and and this is what i'm talking about without knowledge we wouldn't be because something would happen in our lives and 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 then that that existence would connect to our auric field and through um, through frequency exchange, we would start to resonate to the frequency of which we're being affected by, and that affection is really an infection, which we will be contaminated and start to um, you know decode a state of existence to that value of what is being affected, what is infecting us. So without knowledge, we can't learn to show and this is where it truthfully comes down to is that with knowledge we we learn to show compassion and we learn to reason with goodwill we learn to understand what is truthful and what is what is what is truthful and with this with this very very basic um, awareness, we learn how to handle situations without being affected by them. And that is true knowledge, and that is true wisdom. And with that basic principle of, of, of awareness, we can start to contain our, our frequency without being uh, contaminated by, by frequencies that come into our lives and try and convince us that we should be feeling bad frequencies that feel like we should question ourselves which don't get me wrong there's good place for that and that gives us growth but not when it comes to just destructional awareness when it's trying to destruct our awareness and not trying to give us any growth um 
Yeah.